King News. My wonderful people, Olusha Gwabasanjo has gotten into the mist. As we see, Peter Obi react as NNPP group accuses Obasanjo of meeting northern stakeholders for Labour Party candidates. So there's this rumor going on that um, Olusha Gwabasanjo has gone to meet northern stakeholders and Olusha Gwabasanjo is secretly or openly chairing for um is secretly or openly chairing for peter will now the new nigerian people's party is accusing obasanjo for good you know says he has gone behind and um, he has speaking spoken to some northern stakeholders uh, over peter will we don't know if that is true but you know elections when it comes there are all kinds of matters and things going on and everybody has you know uh, something to say about another person Peter Obi, for some reasons, has just caught the interest of the youth who are all mostly going out to get their PVC to ensure that their vote counts. Never in the history of Nigeria has youth been more interested in the elections as it is currently today. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Let's get it all and understand it. Peter Obi reacts as NNPP group accuses Solushegun Obasanjo of meeting Northern stakeholders for Labour Party candidates. There have been reports that the former president Olusegun Obasanjo is working with stakeholders in the North to ensure he succeed President Muhammad Buhari in 2023. Among all the political, all the presidential candidates, Ulushe Gwabasanjo has more confidence in the candidacy of Peter Obi, have not come out actively to endorse him, but secretly supporting him. Secretly supporting him. Mr. Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate, has talked about reports that the former president, Ulushe Gwabasanjo, is working and is in support of him. There have been reports that the former president is working with stakeholders in the north to ensure Peter Obi succeed President Muhammad Buhari. Daily Post report that the chairman of the dialogue group under the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, Madi Shehu, on Tuesday alleged that Olushe Gwaba Sanjo has been meeting with leadership of the Northern Elders Forum campaigning for Peter Obi, that the obedience movement is gaining grounds in the north as a result of Olusegwa Basanjo's dealings with the northern elders. Shehu, who featured on a Rise television interview on Tuesday, said Obasanjo recently visited prominent personalities in the north, stressing that he is mobilizing the northern elders' forum and the entire northerners to, for the Peter Obi project. The obedience movement. According to Shewu, Obasanjo promised the elders that he would be part of the government if Peter Obi is elected president. Obasanjo has suddenly waken up from his slumber to support Peter Obi, he added. Reacting, Mr. Obi, while featuring on Arise TV morning show on Wednesday, said, There is nothing wrong for Obasanjo to sell my candidacy to the North as this will be a boost because I know the heart I have for Nigeria. Ulusha Gwabasanjo, finding me as a worthy candidate, I consider it a great privilege and that is a welcome idea. So this is exactly what is happening right now. Uh, there is the talks that um, President Muhammad Buhari may, uh, uh, may be succeeded by Peter Obi as a result of the former, uh, the former president of Nigeria, Olushe Gwabasanjo, seriously supporting Peter Obi, saying Northern elders and having talks with them that Peter Obi, you know, he believes in the candidacy. This is the same man who openly told Nigerians that they should not vote, uh, you know, Atiku Abubakar. You know, and the, I rem we all remember how the party gave him a 48-hour ultimatum, promised that they will deal with Atiku Abubakar if he does not retrieve his statement and if he does not, uh, you know, uh, speak in good light with regards to, you know, in good light in terms of uh, Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party. 
He still has not done so and they've not disgraced him. They've not exposed him like they promised to do. You know, so these are some of the situations and things happening. And so the NNPP, that is uh, the New Nigerian People's Party, says that uh, Ulusegwa Basanjo is working for Peter Obi, that Peter Obi cannot be getting all this popularity and all that is happening cannot suddenly be becoming, you know, the real deal if somebody like Obasanjo is not with him. So they believe very strongly that Obasanjo is in the camp of Peter Obi and Obasanjo is doing the legwork from the northern for the northern region ensuring that they gain a trust in Peter Obi to be able to redirect the affairs of this nation. So that's part of what is happening right now. Um, they've accused Olusegwa Basanjo of working for Peter Obi. Peter Obi, you know, was in a Chinese television and this matter was being discussed. And part of what he said is that there's nothing wrong if Olusegwa Basanjo can see that he has a clean heart and intends to do well for Nigeria and is going around to ensure that the North feel confident in him. He sees absolutely nothing wrong if Obasanjo is doing He did not deny it, but he just said he sees nothing wrong if Obasanjo uh, consider him, you know, to be a worthy candidate and is doing that for him. Well, elections are around the corner. You will hear all kinds of things. Konkoso is the presidential candidate of the new nigerian people's party and it is in this party that peter obi has been accused okay uh or basanjo has been accused of working for peter obi we will keep you up to speed more as the matter unfolds remember that we have to vote and uh, we are trusting that this time there will be no uh, exploiting of our vote and that um, truly really sincerely speaking our votes will count for a long time in nigeria people vote and it is not the result that they've envisaged that comes out. Okay, it's a result that they've never thought about. Who you not vote? You go see and say nine win. Who you not vote? <laughs> that's Nigeria for you. Who you have not vote? You know, that's the person that comes out. So this is what is happening, and why we all must constantly and continuously work at it and ensure that there is safety for us all. Because, uh, for instance, look at the whole insecurity issues ongoing you see uh, leave us a comment we would love to hear from you please don't forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless have a fantastic and a lovely day from us is bye for now bye